everyone, it's Kenzie Knox and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I thought we'd do a nice little mountainscape painting with a little pond with reflecting the mountain in the sky and everything. So let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm working on a 12 by 17 mixed media paper that's been primed with gesso. I've added a few colors to my palette including light blue violet, cadmium orange hue, sap green, nacridone magenta, dioxazine purple, phthalo blue, titanium white, and burnt umber. So to get started, I'm going to spray down my canvas with some water. And from there, I'm gonna take my size one inch, oh no, actually, take my size 36 filbert brush right here. I'm gonna spread that out. Then I'm gonna take some titanium white. And I'm just gonna add this over here. Our sun is gonna be over here, so. It's gonna get darker sky over here, so grab some Thala Blue. I'm gonna put some Thala Straight Thala Blue over here. You can bring that down all the way. So just bring that down and over. And then as we move over, I'm gonna start adding some white in there, so Thala Blue with titanium white. I'm going to mix it up on my palette. I'm going to transition into this color here. And then bring that down and over. And we're going to stop this transition right around here. Take some phthalo blue, just phthalo blue, and bring that down here. So just paint this all in phthalo blue. But with our sky, we're getting even lighter, so add some more white. So it's phthalo blue mixture. And then blend this in. And then once you're satisfied with your sky, we can go ahead and dry that off and start in on our mountain. Some titanium white, some dioxazine purple, and a little bit of orange. We'll mix those two together. And you're gonna get this like peachy pink color. This is a really beautiful color. I love this color. So what we're going to do is rinse our brush off. We're going to start with dioxazine purple. And we're going to have a mountain up here. So our mountain peak is going to be up over here. So I have like a little peak come down. It's going to be a massive mountain that comes down. That's more ultramarine, um, dioxazine purple. And have it come over here and kind of go over here little peaks and valleys and whatnot, maybe higher up. Okay, so then we're just going to grab some more dioxazine purple. We're just going to paint these ones down a little bit. So our horizon line is going to be about here. Let's see, about here. I think that's where our horizon is going to be. So I'm going to take this purple I'm going to paint this down over here. I'm going to take some Thalo Blue. Paint this in over here. I'm going to take more purple. Oh, purple and blue, I guess. In here, more purple. Up over here. Take more purple. Over this way and down. Take more blue over this way. Just fill that in. I'm going to take more purple and fill this in. Take some blue. Is that all? Okay, so next we're just gonna map out a few things. I'm gonna take some of my phthalo blue. So our lake is gonna come from here and come over and maybe come down a little bit. I think around, I'm gonna take phthalo blue. I just fill that in. Even if we change up the 
it's the size of the pond or what or lake or whatever it's okay you just want to get that double layer of pale blue down you can use a larger paintbrush if you'd like it off. Okay, rinse it off. Take my sap green. I'm going to fill that up over here, fill this in. Just paint this all in sap green. Oh, and diacetine purple, sorry. So I'm taking sap green, diacetine purple, and mixing it up on my, pal on my canvas here. And I see purple, sap green. Okay, so we're going to add in some clouds real quick. So we're going to take titanium white with some dioxin purple and some phthalo blue. We're going to create a cool purple. And our clouds are going to be like this. And of course, you can use another brush if you'd like. Maybe smooth it around a bit. Like. cloud. Take more of that color and we have a mountain that comes over here. Like this. And comes over. Like maybe goes behind here. Maybe we'll have it continue over the mountain. I'm not really sure yet, but let's just get those in. Like this brush right here. Little, little round mop brush. Okay, get that wet, tap off the drips. I'm actually gonna dry it out pretty thoroughly. I'm gonna take some titanium white. I'm gonna make it get a little bit of water. So it's watered down. I'm just gonna add some white on top of this. Right on top of this one. In the middle over that, you need some more white. Then we're gonna have some white up here. Some white like that. And then over here, these ones aren't really gonna have much white on them. Just a little bit. Right there. And then this one is going to be completely, so I'm going to grab more white, titanium white. And then just plop that in here. Go over the top part of the cloud. And a little bit, but leave that shadow toward the back side. So it looks like that. Is that brush and put it aside for you? Going back to my size 4 flat brush here. I'm going to take some titanium white on the side of it, like a palette knife. And I'm going to go down over the top. And then come down like this. Down at the slope, get some more white. Let's tap it on there. Put it this way. If you haven't done this before, just dry off your canvas. So if you mess up, you can wipe it off. In fact, let's dry it off together. Okay, now that's dry, we can go ahead and safely add on our colors without being too concerned. So I'm going to take some more white and without blending them. And I'm just going to... Okay, then I'm going to grab more white. And I'm going to come down right here. Come down like this. Over and down. 
And you can do this any way you want. There's no right or wrong way. This is just the way I'm doing it. Sorry guys, my camera cut out. Over here I just add a little bit of white and a little bit more white over here. Not much, but now I'm taking titanium white and light blue violet. And I'm going to come down this side of the mountain now. Grab some more white. Now we're going to take that orange, purple, and white color. Okay, and then we take some light blue violet, and we're just going to add this to the mountain a little bit into the shadowed regions. Okay, so now I'm just going to take phthalo blue. So the next thing we're going to do is take some sap green on our brush. Actually, let's take some more yellow blue. I'm just going to do... that. And just come down over the side. And then... Over here. Right here. Okay, and rinse off your brush. And take some white or some snap green on your brush like this. Take some titanium purple with snap green. And then we're just going to do a bunch of lines like this. The tree coming down. And then over here, and come down on the mountain. And over here, we're going to add some more sap green, testing purple. Add some trees over here, too. Just coming down like that. Grab some sap green. Put 
watch out for trips. Come back. I would say it's more of that light wizard violet. It's a nice little waist section too. Like that. You get less. If it's something so far away, it shouldn't have so much detail, so you want to kind of combine some of these. Okay, so we'll wait. Rinse it off. Going back to our mop brush. We're going to get some white. And then we're going to come over here. Come into this cloud. Grab our white. Is that all? That green, and all the green, mix those two together. And we're just gonna highlight some of these coming down. Highlight some of these coming down. Highlight some of these coming down. And then some of these. A little dark. Okay, and then we're gonna take some titanium white, light olive green. We're gonna go in with a big highlight right here. On some of these down here, here. Some of these. So, uh, every little mop brush, grab some titanium white, dusty and purple. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of a fog down here. Okay, now that we have the fog in place, we can draw in some trees. So let's see, our fog is kind of crooked, so we're gonna take a little bit more white with diastine purple, mix that up. Let's bring it down a little bit lower. Almost to that waterline. Okay, rinse off the brush. We're gonna take some diastine purple, it's that green. Make a little grassy knoll right here. Uh, another little hill right here. Okay. 
goes after this. And trees to take your front umber on your brush. And we're just going to go ahead and add some trees into our painting. So I just add a tree here that goes all the way to the top. I have one over here to the left and another one right here about this tall. And then we're going to go and add one more little one right there. And then we'll go to the left side and add a few trees on this side. And let's go ahead and add one more that goes all the way to the top right here. Okay, rinse that off. Go ahead and grab a medium-sized fan brush. This is size 10. And we're gonna go ahead and tap into that sap green with some dioxazine purple and create that dark green shade. And we're gonna go ahead and start plopping in some foliage on our um, evergreen trees. So I'm just tap, 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 tap all the way down and get wider as you get to the base, narrow as you get to the top. So I'm just using the side of the brush on the top of the tree and using the full width of the brush towards the bottom. Continue adding in all the foliage on these trees, on each and every tree, um, until you're done, and then we'll go in with some highlights. Sorry guys, my camera cut out again. I'm so sorry. I just tapped in all these trees using my fan brush. So basically tapped down the side and then went down the center. So just tap in your trees and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so next we're gonna take our sap green, light olive green, mix those two together, get a medium tone of green and come down here. And we're just adding in some medium shades. So then we're going to take this green color as well, we're going to tap it in the grass. Titanium white and light olive green. Make your highlight color. And then we're gonna go over the trees. Just some of the trees, like maybe some over here. This one, a little of this one. And I'm gonna sneak it here and there. This one. And then this one. As well as this one. And then some of the grasses, so grasses here. It's depending where the light's coming from. So if you decide you want your light to come this way, like maybe that's the way the light's coming, then maybe we'd add some of this medium green back down to this. But let's rinse off our brush. So take your size four flat brush. I'm gonna add titanium white to orange, some dioxine purple. I need that dark purpley orange color. It's beautiful mauve purple. It's a little bit darker, which is what we want. And we're gonna come up here, and we're gonna have a little peak of the mountain here. Coming up with a little bit here, with a little bit here, and coming down. And then we're gonna have that little cloud right here. And we're gonna reflect it. And down here, we're gonna have one right here. And then, okay. 
Now we're going to take some diastasine purple and we're just going to fill in the mountain. Not like that. I'm gonna take some of this purpley pink color, go down like this, draw some of these areas here. In these areas, grab some titanium white. Come down the edge, come down this way, and then this way here. I'm gonna take some light blue violet, and we're gonna go down this side. Go down this way, go down this way, and then come down this way. And then we're gonna take a little of a mop brush with some titanium white on it. And it's gonna go over the top of these. Just add some whiteness to it. And I'm going to take my size pore filler brush, grab some diastasine purple. It's a little sap green, more purple than sap green, but a little bit in there. Come along the waterline, make this a little darker. Rinse that off. Grab some titanium white. And then we're just going to go along this water line here to separate the land from the water. Oh, we need to add the trees in too. Let's forget about the trees. So grab your sap green. Let's so grab a tree here, a tree here, a tree here, and a tree here. So what we're going to do is take, I'm just going to take the next size down from that so we have a dry fan brush. It's going to be easier to use. Take some sap green. I'm just going to tap here, and then get, as we go up, just make it more narrow. So, are thicker around the bottom, or not thicker, wider at the bottom, narrow at the top. Narrow, this one's going to be a little bit wider. This one's tiny. Then we have these ones over here, too. So this one... This one, this one, this one, so this one's gonna be this far up that way. This one's gonna be a little bit here. Then here. Here. And then I'm gonna add this sap green back here to create just a little bit of a shadow. In this way, and this way, a little bit this way. And those are not going to create shadows, but you're going to add a little shadow underneath the trees. Underneath the trees. We're going to add some shadows here. And then we can also add a little bit of green to our brush. Pull this down, pull some grasses. And then we're gonna add some highlight. So take some light olive green, titanium white, mix those two together. And then we're just gonna add some highlights on this tree here. And then this tree. And this tree. Here and here. And this tree. This tree, this tree, and this tree. There we go. And if you want to create more of a reflection look, you can just pull out some of the trees, sweep them a little bit. So that should create a watery reflection look. Perfect. Take our size 4 flat brush again. Take some titanium white and I'm just going to add in just 
some water lines here and there. Okay, and so we're done. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. I really hope you enjoyed this YouTube tutorial and learned some new techniques or tips and tricks along the way. Please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Okay, bye!